Hi everyone, Paige Panzarello here, the cash flow chick. And I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how I actually get to help people uh, by doing note investing. Um, you know, I, I know that's a little bit of a foreign concept and most of us are taught um, to get into real estate investing, especially fixing and flipping. You know, we can help people get out of their home um, you know, that might be too cumbersome for them. They might be too expensive. They might, you know, be so far underwater that the kindest thing to do is to help them um, leave their home with dignity and grace. Um, and a lot of investors are very successful that way. Um, but, you know, the reality is, is that most of us like where we live and we're there because, you know, we call that place home. Um, it's not just a house to us, to investors, for the most part, it's a house. To a family, it's their home. So I get to, one of the benefits and, and one of the biggest things that I love about notes and note investing is that I actually get to make my money by helping people to stay <clears throat> in their home. And the next question, of course, that follows up to that is, well, you know, Paige, that's great, but how do you do that? And here's the answer. Um, as a note investor, as you know, I become the bank. So I, I literally buy that person's distressed mortgage and I become Mrs. Chase. Let's just call me Mrs. Chase, right? I become their bank. But because I'm able to buy that distressed mortgage at a very big discount, I allow for profit margin for me, but also cushion to be able to maybe forgive some of that debt, especially if the property is underwater, meaning that the borrower owes us more money than the property is actually worth if we went to go sell it. Okay, so um, especially if that if that property is underwater, um, even though I don't own the property, my money is secured by that property. So we do a lot of due diligence on the property and how much it's worth. If the property is underwater, then I can buy that at a pretty big discount. And again, in so doing, not only do I build in my profit, but I build in wiggle room where I can forgive some of that debt on behalf of my borrower or not on behalf of with my borrower, right? Um, and when I forgive that kind of, you know, if we work out a loan modification situation um, where the borrower comes, you know, we forgive debt, we can lower interest rates, we can, um, sometimes we can forgive enough debt and actually raise the interest rate, which is a really interesting concept. Um, it sounds counterintuitive, but it actually works. If you lower debt, but raise the interest rate, that keeps the payment um, manageable for your borrower, but your bigger profit is in the interest that you're earning. Okay. So unless you decide to make this a long-term investment, investment, meaning over five or six years, maybe you would consider reducing the principal amount that's due and raising the interest rate. Um, again, that makes it very palatable for the borrower because now they owe you less money but it makes it very palatable for you because you are actually earning more profit. So of that principal and interest payment that the borrower is paying you, the majority of that is going to be interest, which is your profit as the bank. That's how banks make money is through interest, okay? But the best part of all is again, I get to actually help people stay in their home, not their house, in their home. Um, because again, I buy these at such a big discount. Now I can forgive debt or, or even offset it. We can do what's called deferred principal balance, which means we, we take a chunk of, let's say this property has a little bit of equity, meaning that the borrower owes us less than the house is worth, but they don't want to sell it to be able to pay us off, but they can't afford the mortgage payment the way it is. So what we can do is what's called deferred principal balance, which means we reduce the amount of principal that is earning interest and set aside a piece of the inch or a piece of the principal balance that's due. So that way we're not forgiving it. We're still going to earn it. It's just going to be at a little bit later date, right? So it's still due, but it's not earning interest. And what happens there 
is when it's not earning interest, that lowers the monthly principal and interest payment for the borrower. And that makes uh, it more palatable and more manageable for your borrower to be able to pay you on time every time. So again, there's so much flexibility in notes and note investing, and that's a big one, um, you know, is that we're able to work with our borrowers and our goal, my goal is always when I enter into buying a note is to try and work with my borrower to help to, to keep them in their home as opposed to displacing them out of their home. It creates win-win situation for everybody involved. Once again, they get to stay in their home, I get to earn my profit, and I don't have to have the liability or the responsibility of any kind of maintenance in their home, right? That is their responsibility because they are tech, they are the homeowner. I'm just the bank. Um, but again, the beauty of note investing for me is that I get to one house at a time, one family at a time. I get to, to earn my living and make my profit by helping people to stay in their home um, and, and make it more palatable and more manageable for them. It's basically giving them a second chance. And my borrowers are not, you know, when life happens to all of us, everybody, I'm sure we all, you know, all of us have gone through some sort of financial experience that is somewhat devastating to us, right? Life happens every day, death, divorce, downsizing, um, COVID, right? Medical issues. It, it happens to all of us and it doesn't make us bad people. It just means that life happens. And so most of my borrowers have just fallen on hard times in those situations. And when I step in and I buy that, that distressed mortgage, that distressed debt at a big discount, it gives me cushion um, and, and ways not only to mitigate my risk and earn my profit, but to work with my borrower and help them to stay in their home because this is their home, everybody. For us as investors, it's a house. Most of these people that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, it's their home. And I have some, I have a good friend that says every home has a heartbeat. So I try and put that, that heart hat on as an investor um, when I start out. Now, there are times that you have to take the heart hat off and put the hard hat on. Um, and no one ever likes to do that. Uh, myself included, but you know, for the most part, on the whole, I, I'm able to to work with my borrowers, come up with a, a, a very manageable situation that's a, a win for them and a win for me, um, and everybody walks away happy. So I hope that gives you a little bit clearer picture of of the how that I actually get to make money while helping people to stay in their home as opposed to making money you know, by kicking people out of their home or helping gently guiding them to leave. So I hope you found this informative. If you did, uh, I would love it if you would like my page, you know, here at Cashflow Chick. Um, go to my website, cashflowchick.com. There's all kinds of free different information there or my YouTube channel, of course, at, at Cashflow Chick. Um, I hope you sign up and I will keep doing these videos to help in and let you know um, what I'm doing and, and how you too, if you're interested in note investing and learning how, uh, then please drop me a line or, or go and sign up uh, for a call with me, a free call. You can go to cashflowchick.com uh, and right there on the website, you can book an appointment with me and talk about uh, how you too could maybe become a note investor. All right, everybody, see you next time. Bye.